The State of Arizona versus Jody Ann Arias, verdict, count one. We the jury, duly impaneled and sworn, and the above entitled action upon our oaths do find the defendant as to count one, first degree murder, guilty. We the jury, duly impaneled and sworn, and the above entitled action upon our oaths do find that the aggravating factor, especially cruel, has been proven. Signed, four person. State of Arizona versus Jody Ann Arias, sentencing verdict. We, the jury, duly impaneled and sworn in the above entitled action upon our oaths, unanimous, unanimously find, having considered all of the facts and circumstances, that the defendant should be sentenced. No unanimous, you know, no unanimous agreement. Signed, four person. Let's bring in now the jury foreman, Bill Zervakis. Good morning, Bill. It's really great to have you here. You did say you had a hard time believing she would be capable of, of just looking at her, that she could be capable of doing this. Yeah, that's true. I mean, when I walked in the courtroom the first time and and looked at who the defendant was, you, you know, it's hard to put that in perspective. When you look at a young woman and think of the crime, and then you see the brutality of the crime, it just doesn't wash. So it's very difficult to to di to di divert. Um, divest yourself from from the personal from the emotional part of it you did find her guilty of killing another man and taking another life you said you did not believe her story that she murdered travis alexander in self-defense but you say you do believe that travis alexander did emotionally and mentally abuse jody i'm i'm very sure in my own mind that she was uh, mentally and verbally abused now, is that an excuse? Of course not. Does it factor into decisions that we make? It, it has to. Do you think she did herself any favors on the stand? Uh, there's been a lot of debate over whether those 18 days of testimony helped or hurt her. No, I think 18 days hurt her. I think she was not a good witness. Um, because? You know, we go into, we're, we're, charged, we're charged with going into presuming innocence, right? Um, yeah. But she was on the stand for so long, there were so many contradicting stories. Uh, I think the, the way the prosecutor um, was with her, he's known for an aggressive style. I think it was very hard. I think it'd be difficult for anybody. I don't think I want to sit on the stand for 18 days. Um, but I don't think it did her any good, no. That, that length of time, no, I don't think it did her any good at all. And you did say the most gut-wrenching part of this entire experience for you was listening to the family of Travis Alexander talk about their loss. What was that like? Yeah, that's a great question, Elizabeth. If only I had a good answer. Until you're face-to-face -face with people that have gone through something like that, it's, it's something that you really can't put into words. I'm six feet away from somebody talking about a horrendous loss. And if you can't feel that, then, then you have no, no emotion, no soul. And yet we couldn't allow ourselves to be emotional on the stand. We couldn't allow ourselves to, to show emotional, though I sure some came through. And I'm very, very proud of my, my peers and my jurors that were with us um, because they did a fantastic job of, of holding it together. Different story once we ba got back in the jury room. It was a gut-wrenching thing that we had to go through, and everybody had to make their own decision. Bill Zervakis, thank you so much for your service on the jury and for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Well, it was my pleasure. Thank you.